So why should I consider using a microbial package like Environoc 401, microbes and stimulants for my young crop? Well, first and foremost, improved nutrient release and cycling for a V1 to V5 plant. The crop you see behind me here is in the V3 to V4 stage. At V5, at the end of V5, the ear is completely formed. So you're looking at microbes that can release phosphate, micronutrients, nitrogen, all of those elements for this young plant and help it do a better job of gathering the nutrition it needs to form those ears. Obviously, another thing that we don't think about is improved energy conversion. The energy conversion out of organic matter, old organic matter, nearly available organic matter, and the impact it has on developing sugars inside this plant. It's a sugar machine. And the higher the sugars are, the more energy it's there, the bigger the, the ear can be. It's not always just about NP and K. It's about how much energy the plant has to build the biggest ear it can build. How about improved root mass? Many of the microbes are able to make a, a compound called IBA. IBA is a root growth hormone that increases the size and the length of roots. So you have the ability to uh, double or triple or quadruple the root mass underneath your plant. Well, if you do that between size and quantity and the fact that most plants only explore three to four percent of the soil underneath it, if you explored five or six or seven percent, what would that mean in having to put on less total fertility if you were more efficient at finding it? How about improved water holding capacity and cycling? When microbes work near the root mass of that soil, they make compounds that help that soil hold more moisture for you. The more moisture that you can hold right around that root mass, the more efficient the job is of the plant in converting sunlight energy into uh, energy for the plant, the sugars for the plant. How about improved organic matter deposition? Wow, you know, root mass makes up 50 to 60% of total organic matter deposition in the soil. It's not always just the, the tops that you see here that does the work for us. If you build bigger root masses, you're building higher organic level matter levels all the time. Last but not least, number one reason, profits. If all this thing isn't profitable, why am I bothering with it in the first place? A six to $10 investment per acre can easily make you back 20 to $50 in just raw yield. If you're looking at three, six, 10, up to 15 bushels. And we've seen more than that over time, but there's no way to ex expect that you're always gonna get something like that. At the price of, of current commodities, you're looking at extremely good return on investment. Test weight and number of kernels, obviously, are the number one reasons why we get more yield. But test weight's number one. And so be careful in trying to watch that yield monitor on your combine, because yield monitors typically don't weigh test weight. You can find a two to four pound test weight increase is oftentimes happening when you're using microbial packages like that's, that's in 401. Let alone all the other benefits and features that we've described through these, these videos, it can easily get into the hundred or hundreds of dollars an acre when you understand all of the things that we have not been able to understand in the last few years as to how biology is giving us better bottom line. If you have questions on how to use the microbes in EnviroNOC 401, get a hold of us, your local representative, anyone at Biodyne, and we will do our best to help you understand how to utilize these new technologies to make greater profits on your farm.